black hoodie, I'm back cooking these goodies. Look at these views from cooking these foods. Yeah. Today's subscriber sponsored request coming in hot from my guy Kevin and his little sister Bianca. Shout out both of y'all. So what they were looking to see today is a whole rotisserie bird and some ramen noodles, preferably spicy. So I got some spicy ones. I couldn't get the super hots, but these will have to do. And everything dripping in cheese sauce right here. So I made myself a little cheese whiz cheese sauce. Now there's some rules to this. The chicken has to be eaten savagely with the hands. The noodles, whoosh, chopsticky. We have to have those with chopsticks. And also they're looking for a paranormal story time. So I have sort of something, it's not exactly my personal story, but it's a story somebody told to me right after I confessed to them my personal paranormal story. So before we do anything more, we must pour. So we've got our glass of ice on deck. Today we're going in with a Diet P and uh, I'm ready to fire up this tale for you. An on another note, with Kev, my guy Kev, he's, uh, well, I don't live there anymore, but he's Toronto or GTA. And he actually does TikTok. He goes by accidentally funny. So if y'all want to head over to his TikTok and show him some love, that would be much appreciated because that's what we're doing around here. Showing love. All right. First sip. Get that face puckered. Beauty. So I just want to get a bite of everything before we get into any story. These are Shin Ramen. I think they're spicy. They smell a little spicy, but we'll see. We'll have to see. And yes, I have them relatively dry. I, uh, oh yeah, they're spicy. I personally don't like my ramen noodles. Oh, these are very spicy. My ramen, oh, wow, this is difficult. My ramen noodles too, too wet. These are hot. Very, very hot. Wow. Oh man, I did not expect these to be this hot. This is gonna be bad. Okay, well, I gotta get into a piece of this bird because my mouth is on fire already. Might as well fill it with some breast, some cheese sauce, dunked breast. Cool it down. Hmm. I told them in the chat, I was like, yo man, I can't find the super spicy noodles anywhere. So I'll have to just settle whatever pack I can find and I low-key high-key thought I was gonna get off scot-free here but that is not the case not the case at all lit up. I think I'm going to bust out a light little cheat code here. Just so it's a little more bearable. <laughs> cheese the noodles. Mix in that cheese sauce. Okay, so if you've been on my channel long enough, I've told the story twice. Of my personal paranormal experience. That was crazy and terrifying.
and I was about, I don't know, I want to say like 10 when it happened to me. So I was about 10 when my experience happened to me and I, uh, I was having a sleepover at like my best friend's house and his mom was like, she's cool. Like she was a, a friend mom that was like always taking us places and doing things with us. Like trying to, you know, help us have a fun time essentially on sleep overnights. So we we're having a sleepover and we went and rented movies and we were going to rent some like scary movies and uh i was just like i don't know if i can watch a scary movie after what happened to me at my mom's house in the mansion and she was like why what happened to you so i proceeded to confide in her and tell her my story because I hadn't told many people. I hadn't even told my own mom. I just let it, like let it lie, right? Didn't know didn't know who's gonna believe me or shit. So I just kinda like dealt with it myself. So anyways, I tell her what happened. About the shadow figure in the doorway and all that and she goes I 100% believe you you know nothing to to hide or be ashamed about she's like I've had a reoccurring uh, haunting three times in my life you know years back so she starts telling me her story so her story is that before she had my you know my buddy her kids She was with their dad. They were dating or whatever. This is like just before they had kids. And uh, they were living in this place or whatever, right? In a house. And he would go out of town for work. So she said three times it happened to her. Every time when he was away for work. And it would be the exact same thing every time. And hers was... She'd be jolted awake. For whatever reason. And there was a chandelier above her bed. And it would start to sway. Obviously the first time she had no inkling of what was about to happen. But it started to sway. And then she was living up in like a third floor. There's like the main floor, second floor. And then the top floor was where her bedroom was. And so as the chandelier would start uh, swaying, she heard on the stairs heading up to her room like heavy steps of like a large man and someone whistling the Star Spangled Banner and it was slow like 
do like slowly climbing up the steps, she said, and whistling the Star Spangled Banner. Terrifying. But when the steps would reach the top, it would then just stop. So she had a patriotic ghost, an American patriotic ghost in her Canadian home. And uh, first time she was obviously terrified. And then over the course of living there, the exact same event, whatever you want to call it, a haunting, a, you know, paranormal activity happened to her two or three more times, she said. Everything the same. Chandelier starts, whistling starts, steps. Stopped at the top. Pretty crazy. But it was dope that she had a story to like share with me because obviously like very interesting, but I was just so young and like terrified of what happened to me. And to be able to tell somebody and then have them be like, oh yeah, <laughs> happened to me too, don't worry. <laughs> Ghosts are real. <laughs> You're not crazy. As you guys can tell, I'm going savage on the bird because these noodles are honestly unenjoyably hot. Like, there's like this taste when you actually eat them. It's like, um, the hot flavor, here it is right now, it's like bitter, like it's not even good tasting, it's so Like the flavor is so concentrated into this like bitter hot not even at all delicious flavor shin ramen in a red pack avoid them at all costs Ugh. they are definitely not the move not at all and to be honest, the flavor and the heat kind of killed my appetite a little bit. <laughs> Although I did eat both breasts, a wing, and part of this thigh. That's a fair amount of chicken. But yeah, I just wish these noodles actually were tasty. They're not at all. <laughs> I do like the uh, thickness of them, though. The noodle itself, good noodle. Flavoring, not so much. But yeah, that's my second-hand, you know, sort of first-hand paranormal, paranormal story. So I think I'm going to wrap that one up here, mainly because these noodles killed my vibe. <laughs> But I hope you enjoyed that one. Till the next one, you know what to do. Eat good, live well. Stay true.